Hey guys, it's Ryan. Today, we are going to be finishing the shed. Now, I haven't really spoken too much about this, but over the last month and a half, two months now, we've slowly been working on one spot on the back of the shed at a time, mostly because the boards on the back side of the shed are all rotten and they were causing some leaking to come through. There was a mount of dirt that was piled up behind the machine shed. Dad tore it away with the bobcat. And um, he's bringing the bobcat up from Travis's place right now. It was down there. But um, we're going to try to get as much done as we can on the rest of the shed today. As you can tell. So he's got to dig away the rest of the dirt with the bobcat. And we just got to slowly work, away, work, work, work our way across. There are five boards on the back of the shed at a time and I honestly couldn't tell you how many across it is but um, it's not too it's not too bad to do uh, it's needed it for a while what we plan to do once we get it all done is to go get tar or I was thinking like that flex that flex seal stuff but I don't know if you can get that stuff in big containers and just kind of coat the back of it to keep the water out because during heavy rains the water has been beaten away from leaking off the top of the shed over the years and it finds its way into the shed and then it gets a wet mess in there. Got her all done. I think I speak for both Travis and I when I say that I can't feel my arm. So I counted them all up and there is 10 12 foot sections. We got six, two, three, four, five, six sections done today. We had gotten four done last time and that equals to about 300 nails total we pounded in and 180 of those nails were put in today. So. It's quite a few boards. Now, since these are 10, 12 foot sections, the shed itself is 120 feet long. Not totally sure on the width, but I've gotten that question before on how deep the shed is, and that for sure is one measurement. So, I'm glad we're done with this. Um, we're gonna tar it once we get the tar, and then fill it back up, and then make the rain go back and flow away from the shed again. So. I'm ready to call it a night. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And we'll see you next time.